Tabir al Hasib was born in Canada but hasn't been seen here in three years. It's believed he was radicalized by this man, Andre Poulin, a convert to Islam. I was like any other regular Canadian. I watched hockey, I went to the cottage in the summertime. ISIS featured Poulain in a propaganda video. But before he went to fight in Syria, he lived in Toronto. CBC first reported in 2015 on the young men he influenced as a spiritual advisor, including Hasib. Interpol says ISIS may be training Hasib as a suicide bomber. These kind of uh, trust networks established in Canada on the streets of Scarborough uh, are playing out um, in, in war zones in the Middle East. This terrorism researcher has seen the Interpol list. The biggest fear for the Canadian government uh, is not necessarily these guys coming back and launching attacks in Canada, but um, are Canadians going to be involved in terrorist attacks in Europe? Hasib used to attend this mosque in Toronto's East End. No one we spoke to today said they knew him. But people here are frustrated by recruitment by radicals. People are being misled. What we need to do is to educate them, bring them to the real message. Parents of some of the young men radicalized by Poulain had tried to intervene. They even flew to the Middle East and convinced several to come back in 2012, including Hasib. CBC News spoke to Tabir al Hasib's mother two years ago. She said she had hidden her son's passport to try to keep him from leaving the country again, but it didn't work. She said she last saw her son in 2014. It just goes to show you the kind of legacy these uh, extremist recruiters can really have in terms of bringing people to Syria. But even though Hasib's name is on the Interpol list, there is a chance it's not him. When uh, a lot of these travelers arrive in Syria and join the Islamic State, one of the first things they do is confiscate documents. And we don't know if they get them back or if they're passed on or used for another purpose. Whatever has happened to Hasib, he's no longer under Andre Poulin's influence. He was killed fighting for ISIS in Syria four years ago. Lorenda Redekop, CBC News, Toronto.